Hi, it's Taylor here, and in this tutorial, we're going to go over modeling a weapon um, in Blender 2.5. Um, so, to start off with, um, we're going to go to a great site. So, if you open up your browser and if you just type into Google once it loads, uh, it shouldn't, hopefully, shouldn't take too long. Um, if you type in weapon blueprints, should be the top one, yep, the blueprints.com, blueprints slash weapons, this is the site you should use, so, um, let's go with machine guns, and what's a good one to model, um, uh, should we do a basic M16, oh, that's not a good image, um, Found an M16 somewhere. Okay, that's the good one. So download the image. Um, so that's now download, download. So that's fine. You can now close your browser, and now we can. I don't know whether this saves generally, but mine's my downloads. So I'm going to. Uh, let's call it okay. I'm going to copy this to my desktop just for ease of access. Um, that's so annoying. This thing here. Oh yeah, I better use it. Uh, sorry about this. This is just the screen recorder. It's a bit annoying because I can't minimize Windows or anything. So I'll just paste it to my desktop. Um, you can put it anywhere. And now we can go into Blender. Um, first, we want to go to View. View perspective of graphic, so we want to do that, and then we want to go to view front, and then we can press N, and you should be able to scroll down here where it says background images, checkbox, add image, then drop down that menu and press open, then down here you can go to desktop, M16, open image, and then I want to put the opacity to 1. Okay, so uh, let's continue. Um, so first of all, uh, we want to press Z or Z, and that will change it to the wireframe mode. Uh, we then want to drag it up here, and then we can press S to scale it so it fits in um, nicely here. Uh, a tiny bit smaller. Doesn't matter too much if it's not exact, really. And then we want to press Tab to go into Edit Mode and press A to deselect all those vertices. Um, we then want to press B, which uh, like is the select tool, and drag that over this, uh, these two vertices. And we can then use this and just drag it down until it's level with this bit here. We can then repeat that. So press A to deselect B, select this one and position it there oh, I'm not quite happy with this one here so do a bit more positioning um and this one here looks like it needs a bit more positioning um so that's the basic controls um I'm gonna zoom in a bit and you can press shift hold down shift and click on the I don't know what it's called, is it like mouse roller or third mouse button I think it is and click that down then you can do this um, we then want to press B and select these four vertices you may be thinking oh there's only two there but we're selecting the ones the other side so we can then press E for extrude and we can extrude this along um, we can probably go the whole way then at the end we want to press S I just scale this so it fits appropriately. Um, I'll leave that there for now because we can start on this side here. So we want to press B, select those four vertices, um, extrude it up to there, and then at the end, scale that up a tiny bit. Um, this next bit we can extrude V and scale it down to fit with this bit here. Um, 3D modeling is actually very easy to get started with. Um, you may be thinking, well, I'm rubbish at art, but you'll probably find um, what, it's just like sketching. I mean, anyone can sketch. It's very easy. So we just want to continue extruding and scaling it down. 
this next bit here you have to follow closely because we want to extrude to here so it's in line with the magazine underneath so it goes down there because we want to make sure that's ready then we want to extrude to the other side of the magazine um, we then want to extrude to the other end of the trigger and then the other side of the handle um, we can then extrude to the stock this bit here you can use B, select it and drag it down uh, we can then select this, these two vertices down here and drag that down we can then press B, select all of these and should find, should be able to do this, oh yeah just short position that down um, then you can select this, these two down here and drag that down um, it doesn't matter if it's not too perfect because in this part this is basically just modeling um, basic shape. The next part will go into a bit more detail and be finishing base modeling so if you set these four vertices here and let's just finish this off so we can set this here and position it and then we can press G and grab that to about down there and then again you can set this and press G drag it to about there and just position that a bit more okay so next thing we'll do is mag so select these four vertices here press E to extrude and then select these two here drag that down and then you can select these again extrude and then again position this so you may be thinking oh that's not very straight doesn't look very professional but again this is um this would be actual game this kind of weapon or model so it doesn't have to be extremely high poly but again the next part will be going over more detail so we've got the magazine there um we can now use the third mouse button of all the thing and we can hold that down and just look around press z to go back to this mode and you can see we've started to get base shape doesn't look particularly good but we can press A to select all and we can scale it down a bit to make it probably more gun sized but remember when we go back into modeling press front and you've got to press Z otherwise like you'll find you go wrong somewhere so I'm going to start to model this bit here so press E and just scale it down a bit um, again these bits here you want to scale um, extrude it there um, and probably want to scale it down there then extrude to here and then extrude just after so we need to make sure we get that in um, if we just extrude to there scale it down a bit more then we can just keep on extruding get this shape at the end yeah okay so if you press the again then you can look around and if that's starting to look like a gun um, so I'll probably say this part one is just because I'm currently using my screen recorder and it's a 10 minute limit so there's not much I can do in a minute um, so yeah that's the basic shape, um, part 2 um, we'll probably have to finish the basic modelling then and then part 3 we'll go into adding more detail because um, it does take quite a while to get a perfect model so there is a lot of effort and work to be put into this but um, you should be find it quite pleased because it looks like a gun well almost so thanks for watching and remember to watch part two for more modeling details so yep and remember to subscribe and visit teamgamers.co.uk